I was a student of Dhaka University in the Department of Chemistry in 1971. We were in uh, Jagannath Hall and Bangabundu delivered his historic speech on 7th March 1971. We did attend. But it was inspiring, no doubt, but we did not truly understand the implication of what was uh, concluded. We went with the hope that he will declare independence. Anyway, we understood that there will be no more classes in the department. So I went back to my home district at Changpur, and later I went to Chitago, to my relative's place. In that place, one uh, radio engineer, Mr. Monoranjan Dash, used to recite also. He later became our relative. So there, he took me one day to the radio station, the broadcasting station of Chittagong Center, just across Sheikh Mujib Road in Agrabad area. It was very impressive for a student like me. And uh, he showed me the different departments and I didn't quite figure out that this radio station one day would be of history, play a very history and significant role in the war of liberation. So on the night of 25th March, when we were listening to All India Radio, what we call is Onurodhe Rashor, that is the, the listener's request program of Tagore song, suddenly there were sounds of artillery gunfire, which we never heard in our life. And at dead of night, that was uh, having a great impact on our mind, on our thinking, what is happening? We just couldn't figure out. It was uh, terrible to say the least. Anyway, we couldn't sleep throughout the night. In the morning, when we opened up Radio Pakistan, Dhaka, we could hear that martial law regulations are being thrown out. We understood that something has gone wrong. As yet, we couldn't figure out what really did go wrong. Slowly and gradually, it dawned on us that the fighting is going on between the Mukti Bahini, the nascent forces of Bangladesh armed forces, and Pakistan army, even in Chittagong area. So we moved in the morning to that broadcasting station of Radio Pakistan Chittagong. There we met, I met him earlier also, Mr. Saki Rahman. He was also a radio engineer. And they were talking in very serious terms. What would be our future, what would be the future of the radio station and all these things. I understood some and didn't understand much. But then simultaneously, I found Mr. Abul Kashem Shandim, a student leader, was broadcasting some unusual content that the people are fighting, resisting the Pakistan army, please join and gather in Lal Digi Moedan of Chittagong, then suddenly he said, no, don't join because Pakistan Air Force would come. I will tell you the time when you have to uh, come and listen to our leaders. Uh, the leader was uh, Mr. Abdul Annan. And it was clearly told in the broadcast that Bangabundu has declared independence. Right then, after some confusion again, we came back, but we understood they are planning to take this broadcasting station to Kaluga because they were anticipating the Pakistan army might capture this station. So in Kaluga, the next day, 27th March, where Major Zia Roman delivered his faithful address to the nation, on behalf of Bangabundu, he declared independence of Bangladesh. So that also cemented our thoughts that fighting is going on, we need to do something. Well, sometime later, as I landed in Agartala, I understood that this was the same radio station they have taken to Agartala 
and later probably to Kolkata, I don't know, from where they started broadcasting contents, in fact, to imbue the freedom fighters for their fight and, and also uh, broadcasting the instructions of the recently formed government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. So it played a very historic role and I was very lucky to see the people working all there. There, many of them are gone, but I have a lot of respect for those people for thinking that this radio station can play a vital role in the war and they need to spare it, they need to take it to safety, and they did just that.